reach out to or hear from the Pac-12 regarding those fourth down uh, spots that led to first down that were no, controversial? They don't, they, don't, they don't reach out to or talk to about spots in the game. So. What did you think about those two calls? They said spot. we didn't get them, so it doesn't matter what one I think come that deficient, so we just live with what they call. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing that can change them, so even if they said they were wrong and it was a bad spot, they don't let you play the game over, so you, know, you move on. What do you think about challenging the second one? They're all challenged because they're talking to the officials all the time. So the officials tell me what's going on in the booth, so you don't have to challenge them. They said they, they, said they looked at them. So. What's Dorian's status? Are you practicing today? Um, we'll see what he can do. You know, there's nothing long term with him, so he is banged up from the game. So you know, we'll see what his status is as the week goes along. Is it ankle? It's his leg. Um, you, you talked about Deshaun, uh, the substitution pattern with, with Feltz. And, yeah. Um, Ultimately, don't you want to have him on the field more, though? Isn't that kind of your... Well, we have we're one back offense, so, you know, you've got to... The other kid's pretty good. Right. In case you were wondering, so, you know, it's, it's a... We're a one-back team, and you got to keep two healthy backs in there fresh, so that's kind of what they were doing, you know. Some coverage things that Arizona did, they put a lot more zone um, than Washington State did. I think we exploited Washington State when they played man coverage on felt, and that was some big plays from that. Arizona State, I mean, Arizona didn't play a lot of man. They played a lot of zone and tried to keep him in front of them, so... You know, part of it is what's dictated by play call. You know, there's certain play calls that are for Felt and certain play calls that are for Josh, but a lot of that's dependent on what the defense is doing. So we, we talk all the time as a staff pregame um, during the week, what is our game plan and who's in. Um, but we, we want to keep fresh bodies in there all the time, and I think Deshaun does a great job with those guys. Could you also put him at maybe slot receiver to get him on the field more? Felton. Excuse me? Put Felton at slot receiver. Yeah, but that's not what he practices. So, you know, you, I mean, I could put him at defensive back too, but... He don't practice that either, so that's kind of a silly question to be honest with you. Oh, he played receiver. Yeah, a year ago. But I mean, we had guys that played defense a year ago that are playing offense. But you don't, you don't say, hey, in the middle of the game, let's go put him at that position. You know, it's what they practice during the week and, and, and where they've been the entire time. So that's part of what you know kind of goes into the game plans. What is it about the multiple uh, tight end sets that leads you to believe it could be successful? Is it the personnel? Well, that's what our, the strength of our team is. You know, I think our tight end is our, is our the strength of our what we have on the offensive side of the ball. You know, we inherited Devin and Jordan and Lynchy and a couple of those other guys, and you got to play your strengths. But the tight ends are I'm really, I think, are the, probably I would say that's our position of strength. You know, we're down at receiver. Theo's down right now, so you know, you know we've got some injuries at that spot. You know, we're down at running back. We really only have two running backs because um, Martel Irby's out right now. So really, the strength of our, our offense from a personnel and skill standpoint is the tight end position. So what is the status of Theo Howard? Uh, he's out right now. Was he, he re injured in the Oklahoma game? Is yeah, he got hurt in the Oklahoma game. Yeah. When did Martel get hurt? Um, a couple weeks ago. In practice, huh? No, he got hurt in the Oklahoma game. Oh, okay. Um, you switch holders and snappers on field goals. Do you think that might be part of what's going on with JJ? We didn't switch a holder way. It's been the holder all the way. So. No, I mean, uh, yeah, but you switched for Matt Lynch. Yeah, Matt Lynch plays tight end for us. Right, but last year, the years before, Matt Lynch JJ was a backup was quarterback. So to have a tight end that's in and then gets hit on the play before, and then you have to switch your holder in the middle of the game is not what you want to do. So that's why Wade Lees is our holder. Right, Wade's, is, that, Wade's is a really good holder. Well, the question is, JJ was very good the first three years, and then this year he struggled a bit. No, I, the holds were perfect on, on, on the kick, so that's got nothing to do with it. Wade's a really, really good holder. I mean, he's got experience doing it. And, you know, probably one of the better ones I've ever had, so I think, I think he's doing a really good job. So. You also made a change with the snapper on field goals, right? Yeah, the snapper's fine. So. Okay. Well, so what do you see going on with JJ? I think he missed one field goal the other night, so that's kind of what I see with JJ. He's two for five on the season. Okay. And he, and I'm he was hitting like 70% so. before this year. So. Okay. So we got to correct what's going on with the kicker. But, Why do you always forget that you know, part? When you're not swinging a golf club, right, you don't switch a golf club, you know what I mean? So that's part of it. That's not it. You know, you got to look at it and analyze it. It's just you just can't fish for. Hey, we switched our left tackles, so this pass play doesn't work. You know, is that the issue or is it the scheme? You know, you got to really look at what it is and just instead of guessing at what you think the cause and effect is, is actually look at it. But on those kicks, the snaps and the holds were good. So. What did tape tell you about Austin Burton coming in there? Maybe he did a nice job. You know, that's what you know we, we expected out of him. I thought he threw some nice balls. You know, had a bit, we had a drop that kind of hurt a drive, but I thought he put the ball on him. Um, controlled it the way we wanted it controlled and gave us an opportunity to tie the game and go to overtime. So I thought A.B., when he was at what, what he was asked to do in that, in that situation, for not having played a significant amount of snaps at all, um, I thought he did a really nice job. 
Gavin Newsom signed the bill today that allows uh, athletes to make money off their likeness. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a, a good thing for these kids? It doesn't matter what they think. It's a law. So, right. Do you think the speed limit is a good thing? You don't. You pay attention to it. So it's a law, and I think the NCAA will have to make their adjustment. The law goes into effect in, I think, three years, 2023. And there should be a lot of discussion that goes on between now and then. But I think that I, I agree with it. I think it's the right thing to do. You know, it doesn't cost the universities. It doesn't cost the NCAA. Um, and it just uh, what it did before is it put restrictions on. Athletes and it no longer does. And I think it's progress. You know, the Olympics used to just be for amateurs. You know, the, the, the Olympic model changed over time. So I would imagine the NCAA model has to change over time. So. Is it something you've talked to your coach staff or your staff about? Did that change anything? No, it's got nothing to do with us. I mean, we didn't put the rule into effect. So. But have you? Do you think that'll change anything for your recruiting the next few years? In three years? Well, I mean, students. The rule doesn't go into effect until three years. So. But if students come next year, that still doesn't affect the student. That doesn't affect anybody. So, you know, there's a lot of discussions that have to occur at the NCAA level that are way above my pay grade, so that you have no idea what happens in those situations. So, to waste our time talking about a law that's going to be in effect three years from now, with a recruiting rule, doesn't make any sense to us. Is there an update on uh, uh, Tyree? And then I think maybe also Matt have got hurt in that game as well. On Tyree? Tyree Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, he's coming along. And uh, Osa's practicing today. So. Okay. Quentin Lake? You'll practice today. Thank Thanks. you.